Yeah, you know, Shannon, you guys kind of touched on it. Franco Harris wasn't born and raised in Pittsburgh, but he was one of us. This spot honors arguably the most hallowed play in NFL history. Well, this morning it's become a place for people to honor the man behind him, a man that is synonymous with the Steelers and the city of Pittsburgh. Any Steeler fan that was alive during that time will tell you where they were for the immaculate reception throughout the play or when that play happened throughout the morning when we've seen fans stopping by one person dropping flowers while others left terrible towels the timing of his passing heartbreaking for so many as the team was set to honor him on Saturday but for fans his legacy is something that will always be remembered when they talk about the standard he set the standard he started the standard and anything else that follows uh, it started with the, the teams of the 70s. He's the, the classy symbol of this organization, which has become a very you know, respected organization in the National Football League. Uh, he was a great man, period. And regardless of being a player, uh, he was still a great man and a friend to everybody. You know, it's funny, Three River Stadium sat about 60,000 people, but anyone that grew up here will tell you they know somebody who knows somebody who had a story of being at that game in 1972. It was almost like there was 200,000 people at the game. Just an incredible story to hear as somebody who grew up in this city from people like Ryan had mentioned. You just feel the presence of Franco Harris whenever you saw him. A sad day for Steeler Nation, but of course there will be plenty of tributes and memories to come. For now, reporting live on the North Shore, Jim Adelinski, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.